This may be the oldest Farberware pan I've ever seen. When I saw this pan, I couldn't believe it. I, I did a double take. I've seen hookless handles before, but they've always had the double patent. Farberware went through several patent numbers. The double patent, which started with the number two, two patent numbers underneath. The single patent, two single patent numbers, starting with three, that's the most common. 3173202. Then they went to a four, Patent number four, those are the later ones. The shape started to change a little bit. They weren't as curvy. When I saw this pan, I freaked out. I have a print ad from 1949 that shows a pan that has sloped sides. Like this one. The Farberware we know and love has straight sides deeper and straighter. These are both roughly ten and a half inches. This could be one of the very first Farberware they ever made. 72 years of wear. Little, little pushed in. That's okay. This is a museum piece in my opinion. We are gonna have to cook an egg or something. 
we're gonna have to cook something in it. This pan is from the 60s. This came in the brown box with the star logo, not the white boxes that came later. 3173202. This one doesn't even have a patent number. This could be before they patented it. I don't know, but I've never seen this before. I had to wait like 10 days for it to arrive. That was one of the longest shipping. I was frustrated. Before I cook anything in it, I am going to boil water. Even though I've washed it and rinsed it and washed it and rinsed it, this is a very old pan. Let's boil some water. Let's cook something. Let's stop yapping and let's cook something. This is a piece of history, man. I'm, I'm just saying. This should be in the Farberware Museum. We could do a grilled cheese. I've got cheese. Maybe we should do a grilled cheese. They'd be making grilled cheese in 1949, right? That indent in the middle is definitely cooler. There she goes. She's going. All right, I'm going to let her cool down. We're going to turn her off. That should be fine. pretty evenly. You know, American cheese. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. I rarely make grilled cheese, so this is fun. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Thank you for joining me this Tuesday. Thanks for watching.